how to use ZipRecruiter job search engine for beginner step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll be telling you how you can start using a ZipRecruiter. I'll be talking about um, the modules right here that you can explore, how related are they to searching your job, and of course, starting out, which is very easy, just go ahead and log in or sign in with your Google once you go to this site and once you hit enter you'll have a pop-up window right here that's supposed to ask you to continue with google and that's what you want to do continue with google now once you're inside the site this is the dashboard looks like you will see here different jobs that are recommended for you by the way before you hit on create account you'll have to toggle on keywords or type in keywords that you want to be i mean be right here on your dashboard so for example you've entered virtual assistant or creatives you'll see suggested jobs here that have something to do with the keyword that you have just entered before you created your profile now you can do that by inputting the keyword here as well aside from typing them in when you create your account when you create your account it's okay to skip them just go ahead and type any job title that you want here so before we search for jobs let's go ahead and explore different modules we have the salaries module this is where you filter jobs based on salary like for example search title or keywords and then search salaries uh, you can look up here how many jobs are up for that amount of salary and for example what are are you going to expect doing that job and next one we also have messages this is going to be where your messages with your potential employers are going to be this is where you create your messages and you manage your messages with your clients your profile is an important part of your zip recruiter app because this is essentially what your clients will see this is where you provide with uh, provide your clients with information about what you do this is where you prove that you deserve a spot in their organization so you can see here work experiences education we also have resume references skills certificates and licenses and of course you should also add your objectives your achievements you your associations that you have you are you're directly related with or you have been before and of course your preferred or minimum desired pay which i inputted here twenty five thousand dollars i'm not sure if that's a lot but from where i am based right now twenty five thousand a year is already livable and once you're new here you can see a spot dedicated to the things that you need to do a checklist that you have to fulfill like adding your phone number adding a headline and receive a reference let's go back to the jobs tab let's try to search for jobs and hit on apply now i'm gonna go ahead and pretend that i'm looking for virtual assistant job so i'm gonna type in virtual assistant and i'm gonna hit on enter and we can see here a couple of jobs that has something to do with virtual assistants we have a, a remote customer service yeah and this is work from home so this sounds pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and click that on and let's see what are the requirements for this job pretty long so i advise you guys that when you are applying here on sites like this go ahead and read until the end because sometimes there there are criterias that they put like for example if you read like until the last part of this or in the middle of this proposal type this word to your proposal include this line to your proposal include this subject line when you send an email something like that now it lets you apply on the external site you'll be redirected to this website live ops now let's try and hit on other jobs right here that we can actually apply directly on zip recruiter let's try on fast track to management new york life great plains i think this is a mem something to do with memorial services right the one click apply lets you apply with the resume that you've uploaded when you are creating your account here on zip recruiter so make sure that you have uploaded an updated resume updated cv so once you apply or click on the one click apply button you'll make sure to send an updated resume you'll be sure that you've sent an updated resume so it asks here do you live within 200 miles of shua falls south dakota shouse falls in south dakota the required territory for this position so criteria yes continue and then you'll have to 
input your password, set password. And as you can see, it's now loading up and then your application was submitted. Just like that, you guys, one click apply. And there are a lot more jobs that you can apply with just a click, just like sales representative right here, physician, Uber. It really depends on the keyword that you're gonna search. Like for example, we're gonna search here coding. There are also a lot of coding jobs, computer programming jobs that essentially hires coders nowadays, right? So it, the list goes on. What about, let's say affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing manager and executive. Let's check out affiliate marketing manager. Now this job is really cool for you for when you have like an experience already about affiliate marketing. Um, try to apply as a manager, you guys. You can actually bag a lot of good deals. But anyway, you can see here again, jobs related to the keywords that you have entered. And what else you can do with the jobs? Each cards are different jobs, by the way. You can report the job if it's improper or you can save job for later. So go ahead and see how long they're hiring before you hit this because, you know, they might only be hiring today or a limited amount of time. You don't want to be wasting time by just saving them for later. But it's a cool feature for when you find a job and when you, you know, when you're browsing casually and when you can't handle a lot of jobs at the moment. It's also useful when you just save them for later. So when you're done with this client, you can go back to the jobs that you have saved and basically be effective about applying in all of those jobs that you found because now you can commit to them and you can move on with them and it's a lot easier to apply when you are done with a previous stint that's that's for me personally because when i apply i make sure that i'm done with a previous task before i go with or handle another client you know some people do like they apply for a lot of clients and end up with a lot of work cramming and then they end up with tacky outputs that's why yep i suggest that when you um search for jobs maybe you can save them for later don't apply and apply and apply and apply because once you apply and they respond to you and you won't respond back it's gonna give you a bad impression you know that amount word of mouth so if you're applying for the same kind of industry and zip recruiters network notices that you know uh, real people work behind zip recruiter and sometimes there's a huge network of a uh, talent uh, recruiters behind zip recruiter and sometimes they work in the same field and there's a chance that they might know each other so don't overwhelm yourself with a lot of freelance jobs make sure that you just take what you can handle anyway i think i've talked much or i think i've, I've talked about what you need to know when it comes to zip recruiter right here it's essentially like any job searching engine but what's unique about this is that you can actually do the one click apply which is really cool you know um, you don't have to type in a cover letter and stuff like that. It, it lets you apply with just a one click away. But what do you think about that system, you guys? Applying with just a click, is it... What do you think? Is it good or is it? does it promote professionalism? <laughs> you let me know what you think down in the comments below. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again on the next one. Peace out.